Hi! Due to the way YouTube works, I want to make a quick announcement before this video. If you like this video, please consider hitting the like button or leaving a small comment. It really helps. If you feel like helping even more, you can check my Patreon or Ko-fi accounts. All the links are in the description box. Thank you! Greetings! If you've looked at more art videos on YouTube, chances are you know who is Marty Owings. And if you don't, then you really have to fix that and go subscribe to his channel. Marty is an artist and YouTuber and a great presence in this community. He recently showcased a special set featuring a particular tin and an assortment of acrylic gouache. If you've seen the tin, you might have already figured out why I had to get me one of these sets. Amazing tin aside, I also like to use these paints, so there was a place for this set in my assortment of tools. The tin alone retails for quite a lot of money, as it's a bit hard to find outside of Japan. It's part of a multifaceted collaboration between Japanese artist Yuko Iguchi and, and Japanese paintmaker Holbein. They made a few special tins and containers and two sets of themed watercolor paints, selected by the artist. The idea to combine this special tin with the acrylic gouaches is from Wet Paint Art Store, a pretty awesome art supply store in St. Paul, Minnesota. They are the only ones offering this special bundle. So yes, the set. It comes with the tin and 18 tubes of Holbein acrylic gouache. They also include the chart and the pamphlet about other Holbein acrylic products. It looks like a very nice array of colors. When it comes to more opaque colors like with these acrylic gouaches, having a tube of white becomes mandatory. If you want to work with a colored tint, you have to use white to keep the opacity. If you want to make it more transparent, then you don't need to mix in white, but a liquid medium. This is different from regular gouache and watercolor. As I made my swatch sheet for this set, I also took the time to make the swatches for the swatch book, to complete the few pages I have about these paints. I'm very excited to have this new set as I love these paints. They offer unique characteristics that make for a nice change of pace when compared to watercolor or regular gouache. And, well, the tin is definitely something that screamed my name when I saw it. Some of you even remarked on that in the comments of Marty's video. There wasn't a lot of convincing to do, but yes, I did end up opting for it instead of other supplies. To be fair, I had spotted this set about a month ago, but in the whirlwind of the holidays, I couldn't quite go for it. I'm really glad to add this to my other Yuko Iguchi item, one of the watercolor sets. Her art is both beautiful and bizarre and inspiring. Ooh. 
that's it for my first impression and sneak peek into this unique set. The paints are not new to me, so it's not really a first impression of the paints, but it's my first time buying a set of these paints. I have more planned about acrylic gouache, but that's for another video. Thanks for watching, take care, bye bye.